Hi again, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be cleaning out this carburetor, car Bretta, and it's from a Still TS410 cutoff saw. Um, I have cleaned the outside up a bit, best I can. These saws always get really, really dusty and little bits of concrete sticks on them. But I've cleaned up pretty good. So I'm gonna take it apart now, which I actually already have took it apart because I ordered the diaphragm and gasket kit for it. But I put it back together to show you how everything goes. So firstly, I'm gonna undo them four bolts. So now then four bolts are out, we can lift this part off, but it doesn't actually come away totally because it is connected there. And I'm not going to take that clip off under there. I'm just gonna leave it hanging because it's no point taking it off. It's just another thing I have to do, which I um, don't really have to, if you know what I mean. So um, we just turn that over to the side like that. And there's a diaphragm. Like I said, I already had took that off, but you can see a lot of the gasket got left on there. I'll just um, use a blade initially, and then put some carb spray on and use a brass wire brush and that'll clean the rest off. I'll probably just do that off camera. Um, it's pretty simple to do that. Um, and also we'll do this now. We'll take the needle valve out. And to me, that does look a bit stuck in there. So we'll do that and see what's what in there. So now that little bolt is out there, it has actually all sprung out okay, so perhaps it wasn't stuck. It looked stuck to me, but we'll see when it goes back together, how well it works. So we have the needle valve there. Quick look, looks okay. And we have the spring, which we don't wanna lose. Try and grab it, yep. So that side is stripped down. Um, I will take them out as well. But firstly, I'm gonna take that side off. So what I'll do at the moment is just put that around there like that. And then unscrew this. I had took this side off as well, because I wanted just to check everything was right in the kit I've bought. So if you just hold that throttle piece over a little bit, get that off like that that piece, then goes a gasket, and then that screen piece there. Not too much to clean in that side. There is a gauze there. If you can see through there, it looks very clean. So I'll probably leave that in there um, because it's fitting nicely in there when you take them out. If you're not fitting a new one, sometimes they don't go back in brilliantly. And when they're really clean, it doesn't really need to come out. So I'm gonna ping them two off covers i probably will leave them off as well gives me more adjustment on the fuel screws so you just get a screwdriver under and ping them off i'll do one and then i'll be back with you when i do the second one so i've took one off it actually broke because i took it off so i can't reuse that but i won't put them back on anyway and this is the second one let's see if we can just leave it, that off i think this is going to break too but like i said it's not going to matter because i won't pin it back on we've done that there we go so now we want to take them fuel screws out h is there high and low is there so we'll count them in to know where they're set at the moment half one and a little bit so that was the low one so it will be when i put it back together that will be that one turn out a tiny bit and I'll just put that on the bench at the back on the left side left for low and then we'll do the high one half one half two so that will have to come out two turns when it goes back in I'm not sure if these adjusters are the same, high and low, whether it matters where they go back in, but I like to put them back in where they come from. So, yep, so this is the high one. So I'll put that on the right side. Ah, one thing I have missed, just caught it there. There's a little jet to come out of there, so we will do that. So 
So yeah, we've got that little jet out, so I'll check that is clear. So what I'm gonna do now off camera, I'm gonna clean off that gasket. Then I'm gonna put some carb spray. This is the stuff I use through the various holes and just basically give the carb a good clean. And then I'm gonna use some compressed air on low pressure just to blow through the holes and also just to dry off the carb spray. And then I'll be back with you. And we'll get it back together. I don't need to show you that really. Um, if you look on some of my previous videos, it shows a process of the carb spray and the compressed air. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just go through sort of all the holes and give the carb just a general clean. Put through there, I'll go and I'll go through there. Spray through where that gauze is. There's some little holes there. So yeah, just go all through them and then the compressed air. We'll just clear it out and then dry off the carb. And yeah, then we can get it back together. Now the carburetor has been all cleaned. So I'm gonna get the parts back into the carburetor and then we can fit the new diaphragm and gasket. So firstly, I'm gonna put this little jet back in. It is clear. You can probably just see that through there. So we'll get that back in first. So now the jet's back in, that's all good. I did notice that the needle valve looked like it was sticking. And what the problem was, was that pin through there. It is pushing through there a bit, as you can see. That's pretty tight. So what I'm gonna do, because the new kit comes with a new one and the pin, I might as well just use that because that's really, really free. So we'll go with that. Uh, I am gonna use the old needle valve and the old spring because there's nothing wrong with them. They do come in a kit, but if the, it was a genuine kit, I'll show you the kit in a minute. If it was a genuine kit, I would use the new ones. But as it's an aftermarket one, I find this brand, Wartec, uh, the diaphragm and gaskets are good. But I never really use the, the needle valves or any of the other bits. But on this one, I'm going to use just that bit. So I'm going to go with the old needle valve and the old spring. So we'll just get that balanced in there. So there we have it all together. So I'm just gonna get it in and then I'll put the screw in. Shouldn't be too hard. That's in place, I just gotta get the little screw, the little bolt in there. It is a little bolt, but I have to use a screwdriver to tighten it up. Felt it click in then, I think that's all good. We will just check in a second. So there we have it. And that's all working good. You can see the spring is in place just under there. I'm happy with that. So that's ready to put the new diaphragm and gasket on now. So I'll just get that and then we'll get that fitted. So the kit I'm using is this one. It's a Wartec product. I find these okay, and that's the number of it. So we'll get that diaphragm and gasket fitted. Put the gasket on there first. Check everything in place. I think it can only go, yeah. It's, we'll be fine like that. It's the same whatever way you put it on. This part isn't, but we know we have to have that piece pointing downwards, a piece there. So we'll just get that on there, like so. I've got the four little bolts here. So I'll just let you watch me put them in and I'll do that on fast speed. Now I've turned the carb round and I need to get this screen on here. It's a little bit trickier on this one than normal because that pipe is there. So we'll see how we go. It's on there like that. I'm gonna put the gasket on that part. We'll try and just get that in place and then get the little bolt through. There is some little locating tabs on there. So that does help things a bit. We'll just see how we go. 
just move that throttle bit away just a little bit just to clear and let's see if we can shuffle it in place yep we've done that you can see it's all down so i'll just get this in The final job is to put the fuel adjusting screws in. This is the one I put on the left. So that goes in the low, which the L is there. So I'll just start that. There's the other one. That goes in the high. I remember what they were. The low was out just over one. The high was out around two. So this is the low one. So we'll get that. Screwed fully in. It's fully in, so we'll go half, half, and it was just a little bit, so we'll just go there. No problem, we can get access to these when it's back on the machine to fine tune it if we need to. Get this right in, so that's half, one, half, two. I think that one possibly might be out a little bit too far. Usually both are out. I tried to set them out about one and a half each, but that one was, like I said, one and that one's two. So, yeah, I might well have to adjust that. But uh, I have got a better range of adjustment now. I've took them little caps off. So that's this carburetor all done. Um, it's been cleaned, had the new diaphragm and gasket kit in, had that new part in, what I just showed you. And, yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's been of some use to you. And I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.